What's going on everybody? My name's Chris and welcome back to another exciting episode of Unoriginal Craft. Today we're gonna go caving! This actually recorded after I do the caving because my intro actually corrupted for some reason. My intro clip that is. So enjoy the caving! I'll talk to you guys when I find a cave even though I found it and this is actually being placed in front of the footage I already recorded. Is that confusing? Probably. Okay, I'll see you guys in a second. Bye! Okay, I'm back. I found a cave. And I have not looked into this cave, so this might be a disaster, and it's looking like it's going to be a disaster. <laughs> and by disaster, I mean just empty. Hmm. Alright, so. Well, I guess we could start mining this crap out. Oh, actually, I brought a silk touch pick. Let's start using that. Yeah, it's weird to start using the silk touch on stuff like this. I'm going to use it on, or on these ores just so, um... I don't have, I don't like just clog up my inventory with like millions of ores. Millions of ores! And I really, oh, this looks promising. Oh, boy, oh, oh, okay. Well, I meant to hit shift there, but it, it just didn't happen. <laughs> uh, okay, so I have a few things to talk about. Um, and then I'm going to do something a little bit different for this episode. Okay, we need to get over here. Um, what I want to talk about is UHC. We started C our UHC season two, and at the time of this being uploaded, I, well, I believe episode three is going up. So, oh no, oh no, darkness, very very frightening. All right, so yeah, episode three should be going up. Um, you guys enjoying it? It's teams this time, and I'm with. Uh, I was gonna say CJ, but no, I'm with Mo. I don't know why. I, I called uh, Mo CJ in the actual. Um, UHC as well when you first start playing. I, I don't know why I confused the two. I mean, they're nothing alike. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, um, it was actually a really fun season. Um, the only thing I didn't really like about it is the fact that there were only like, there's only four groups of people, so it did feel like the chances of meeting anybody were, did, were pretty small. I'm not going to spoil who does meet who, obviously, since that hasn't been aired yet. Um... Yeah, otherwise it was really fun. I actually did really prefer um, having teams. I was a bit nervous about it since I am always... I, I'm... As crazy as it, it, is, it is, I'm a little shy when it comes to um, collaborating with people. Thus why there hasn't been too many... Ooh, this is cool. It's like a ravine that just didn't make it. Uh, I I'm, I always feel a little bit shy when I... Oh, oh, no. I'm a little shy when it comes to like collaborating with people for whatever reason. You need to die, sir. But, um, me and Mo clicked pretty quickly, I think. It, it did feel a bit awkward at first, but that quickly changed. Is this, uh, that's a real ravine. I'm a real ravine! Um, but yeah, me and Mo clicked pretty quickly, and it actually went by really f awesomely. And the first season, if you guys haven't seen it, go watch it. Because I'm about to spoil something. I, I, have you gone yet? No? Well, too bad I'm going to spoil it anyways. Mo was the first one to die, so when I got on Mo's team, I'm like, uh-oh. I'm a, is my teammate or is my teammate gonna die? But he actually was well. Actually, I can't even really say. But he was he actually lasted like a very very long time without taking any damage. Just just to <laughs> say that. I'm not, well, I guess it isn't really a spoiler to say he takes damage. Um. But yeah. Um. <laughs> I'm trying to word this without spoiling anything now. But yeah. So I, I'm actually really pleased with how the UHC turned out. Um, I should probably start stop talking about it before I end up spoiling anything. Uh, I did get a question from somebody asking if they could be on the UHC, but he, he wasn't actually, if he didn't make any videos in the past, so I didn't, I, I'm going to go ahead and say nope. <laughs> uh, it's a YouTuber only server, so I apologize, Mr. Guy, but if you start making YouTube videos and apply for the server, then perhaps, perhaps you'll be able to get in. Who knows? It's a mystery to everybody. Uh, we've actually lost two members since my last video. Wits and Exoflor and how I've both left the server. I believe I, I I always get mixed up between Exo and Wits just because um they joined around the same time. And uh, I neither of them really talked too much on our Skype chat. Um they were always like busy with all their stuff, but um one of them they had their I think it was was it Wits? I believe it was Wits that had his internet going out and uh, it was several months, and then he eventually just, like, admitted that he doesn't really have much of an interest in the server anymore. Which, I mean, which is sad, but at the same time, um, at least, uh, I, I believe CJ put it that, um, at least we're weeding through the members that don't really care too much about the server, and we are, like, collecting, like, every so often we do get a member that wants to stick around. So, I mean, we're, I, we are looking for new members now, so if you do, if you do have an interest in joining the server, go ahead. 
apply for it. Uh, link's always in the description of every single um, Unoriginal Craft video that I remember to put it in. There was a few recently that I forgot to put in. I was like, oh yeah, I should probably start putting an application video because we uh, applications have really slowed down lately. Um, I am actively starting to look for YouTubers now that like uh, I'll just like search up Let's Play Minecraft on YouTube and like uh, order it. But whoa, I thought the pic just broke. I was like, what? <laughs> and I'll like upload or organize it by who uploaded it in like the last hour and just go through the list and see what I can find. And there's there's two things I've noticed when doing that recently. One, there is a lot of German YouTubers. Like, holy crap! Are a lot of German people playing Minecraft at least? Like, um, the first like ten videos were all in German. I don't know if it was just the time I searched for it since it was around 10 p.m. or so. Oh, gold! Yay! I got excited, but no, this is not a UHC, so gold isn't as important. Um. Yeah. Uh. Crap! I lost my track of thought there. <laughs> um. Yeah, there's a lot of German YouTubers playing Minecraft, apparently. And two, there's surprisingly a lot of girl female YouTubers, which I was really shocked because I kind of feel like that is kind of a rare breed of animal. Is that sexist? Is, is calling a woman an animal sexist? Probably not, because, I mean, guys are animals too, you know. Actually, if anything, guys are more related to animals than anything, so, you know, since we're always called pigs and other gross animals anyways so yeah um i have actually found quite like a surprisingly a, a lot of youtubers that have decent quality i mean not the best like wow this is hd 720p quality oh, first thing i thought we would reach into the cable we have that ravine but i mean there's surprisingly quite a few amount of youtubers that that are like have zero subscribers zero views and they have like surprisingly decent equipment so i haven't invited anyone yet to try and apply but i'm gonna probably start doing that Hmm. You know what? I was gonna make this episode uh, uh, a Q&A &A video using like a topic generator, but there's some other things I want to talk about first. So let's see how far that gets me before I start to do that. I want to start using this pick because I do need more coal. Delete for torchies. For torchies, torchies, torchies. Um. A serious idea I've actually had for a long time that I do kind of want to kickstart up. That'll be both good for like my channel and other people's channels. Is I want to start a shadow channel. Um, some of you may or may not know if you've been with my channel for a while and have explored the YouTubes. Is I was with a channel called the Foplight, where we um, every two weeks it was yeah we would uh, highlight three channels and talk about them and pretty much get people to subscribe and you would enter by like you know subscribing to the channel and like saying you want to enter and then we'd be th you'd be thrown into a pool of other YouTubers and um, we would pick from there, pick the three what we think deserve shout outs and then we would like review their channels and talk about them and I'll get other um, YouTubers uh, uh, reviews of them. And the reason why that eventually died was because one, people lost interest, two, the creators of those videos actually changed multiple times and it eventually um, it just kind of died off. People just kind of lost interest, sadly. Uh, but I was actually okay with it, and I thought I would end up having to leave it anyways, simply because it became way too much work for, like, a series. And, like, well, holy crap, that's a lot of iron. It must be two veins together or something. Um, yeah, it eventually just ended up being too much work for very little payoff for, like, anybody. Like, the video started getting less and less views, and we... None of us really had much time to do it, and it was like a dying channel. No one seemed to care too much about it anymore. Um, it was a great idea, though, and I'm happy I was a part of it. That's actually where me and uh, MML Matt started talking quite a bit and became good friends. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that eventually died off, and we made it too complicated, to be honest. Or it's not that we made it too complicated. It's, it, we just made it out way too much work. We tried to make the videos really pretty with... Um, is pretty much editing up to be a lot, which is which was okay, but it just became more of a task that no one was really looking forward to doing, and so we eventually just called it quits. And that channel exists today, and it's still up, but no one's doing anything with it, and it might return one day. I guess I think we left it up in case like someone eventually felt like reviving it one day, but for now it just kind of sits there and does nothing. <laughs> What I might start doing is um, every single, what I want to do is every single like Friday or something or maybe the day isn't really set in stone. I want to start like shouting out a channel I think deserves more subscribers. 
that I, well, I was gonna say that I haven't like dealt with before or shouted out before, but uh, I guess it would just be really anything goes. Maybe the only rule would be, well, actually, I was gonna say the only rule being maybe it should just have less subscribers than me, but that's not even true. I mean, there's a lot of subscribe or there's a lot of channels that like you know I could shout out that would be at least a little helpful. I don't know. I feel I do feel like. I've always wanted to do something like that, though, just you know, help other people out, share the love, you know? Because in the end, that helps. it helps out all of us. <clears throat> We're ten minutes in here. And I've actually run out of topics. But yeah, so, I guess that'll eventually be a thing, maybe. Perhaps indubitably. I don't really know yet. Um, it's, it's actually a series idea I've had since pretty much starting YouTube. And when I became, like, uh, part of the Foplight, I was really excited to be a part of that. And... Yeah, unfortunately, it didn't end up working out, but, yeah. Anyways, so, I guess we will go back to the topic generator now. And we'll go back to what I mean, start with it. Oh, there's a bit of frame drops there. Okay, so, um, uh, Vintage Beef actually does a series Q&A caving. I don't know if he's done any lately. I don't really watch too much Minecraft anymore, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, he does a series called Q&A caving, where he'll get his fans on Twitter to send him questions where he'll answer while he caves, just to make it, like, more interesting instead of, you know, really boring. Um, I, unfortunately, don't really have the fan base to be able to do that, <laughs> very obviously. Um, but what I do have is the power of Google. And so I pretty much just searched up uh, Topic Generator. Holy crap, this cave actually goes on really freaking far. That's awesome. Um, yeah, I pretty much searched up a topic generator. I'm going to just use that to generate some topics. I have it loaded up on the question. Do you prefer to cook or order takeout? But I'm not going to, I'm not going to start on that question. I just put it there just so I could, um, randomize it when I first start talking to you guys. And I don't, I don't like, I'm not prepared to answer any of the questions. Whee! Hey, more gold. I jumped down a cliff and my reward is gold. Yay! Surprised it hasn't been much block leg yet, and I feel like saying that is probably going to cause block leg. So, once I gather this gold here. Alright, now let's plus choose another random topic. Would you rather lose an arm or a leg? Hmm. Probably a leg. <laughs> I would rather use a crutch, I guess, and lose the ability of having an arm. Okay, that's kind of a lame topic. Let's choose another one. Will you be willing to reduce your lifespan by 10 years to become rich or famous? Uh, dude, I'm freaking... I don't know! <laughs> I'm gonna be like those one of those teenage girls. I don't know how many of you use Facebook. Probably a lot of you, actually. Um, where it's like, you'll, they'll post a status like, uh, if this status reaches 20 likes, I'll answer all these questions. It'll have like 50 questions there, and they'll get all the likes, and they'll start answering them. And like half their answers will be IDK, and it's none of your business. I mean, I guess it's, it's kind of fair game if you don't actually know the answer to a question like that, or like just I guess the answer to a question. But like if if the answer is like, are you thinking about your last boyfriend? And then they're like, none of your business, and like all the answers like that. It's like what the hell's the point? <laughs> Sorry, I just felt like raging there. Uh, would I lose an, rather lose an arm or a leg, though? Probably, yeah, probably a leg, just because I would much rather eat my own leg on a deserted island. Well, that, I, I don't know what to go with that. Okay, next question. Oh, that was the wrong question. Would you um, waste 10 years of your life to become rich or famous? Um... I don't know, actually. It depends how long my lifespan is. Like, if I was only going to live to, like, 40, then no. But if I was going to live to, like, 90, then yeah, because dying at 80 and 90 is not really much of a difference. Let's assume I'm going to live a full, healthy life. Then I'm going to go ahead and say yes. Because I'm cliche, like, though, not really cliche, but I, I, I don't know what the right word would be. People always look down on people for wanting to become famous, but I mean... And people always say it's not all it's choked up to be, but it'd be nice to, like, you know, as long as you don't get into drugs or, like, have terrible, terrible spending money issues. I mean, I've always been good with not spending money you know, and saving up, so I don't really feel like it would that would become an issue with me. Drugs are bad, and okay, kids. Cause, I mean, I've definitely been in scenarios before where I could have tried drugs, but I didn't because I know that's a terrible, terrible idea. <laughs> Um, so, I guess, yeah, I would 
waste 10 years, I would spend 10 years of my life to become rich and famous. Wait a minute, is spending 10 years of my life because I use drugs and alcohol or something? No, it couldn't be. I, I don't know. Okay, next question. Oh, what is your favorite TV, or what are your favorite TV shows? Hmm, Breaking Bad immediately pops to mind. Game of Thrones is pretty great. The only thing I don't really like about Game of Thrones is there's not really much payoff. I already went this way. I feel like they kill off a lot of characters for the shock value, but at the same time, like, a lot of character arcs don't have endings. Like, it's like they have a problem, and that problem never gets solved because, the, the, like, the George R. R. Martin, just the, his solution to solving a character's problem is just killing them. Which I guess is kind of a solution, because the problem will no longer exist. But at the same time, I kind of feel like it's a lazy way out, and I'd much rather have, like, you know... At least, you know, have some kind of payoff. Before, hey, I remember to block, and uh, I, I always forget the block. Um, yeah, uh, Breaking Bad, it's pretty freaking great. I'm not gonna lie, it's one of my favorite shows ever. Hey, there's Iron I Mist. Give it to me. Uh, what else? I'm watching. Well, it's not really one of my favorite shows. I am watching Orange Is the New Black. Uh, it's pretty great. I like it quite a bit. Um, I do have a few complaints about the show, though. Pretty much. Um, well. I mean, it is partially a comedy, and I was expecting something more Prison Break related. Like, Prison Break is freaking intense. Oh, yeah, I should mention Prison Break, although I did stop watching it. But it was a pretty great show, too. It was one of the most stressful shows I've ever seen in my life. Oh, holy crap. I don't really stress out at, like, watching TV or movies. But Prison Break is a completely different story. I was stressing out that freaking entire season one. Oh, it was terrible. <laughs> it was really, really well directed, though, in my opinion. Um, I gotta commend the creators of that show. Oh, I almost walked right into that. That would have been unfortunate for everybody, including me. Saw that one coming. Um, what else? Yeah, Prison Break. The only thing I gotta complain about is one of the episodes is really stupid. The entire one, of the I think it was like the fourth episode in or something like that. It was about uh, the main girl seeing a freaking chicken. She spent the entire episode trying to find the chicken in the prison yard. And apparently, the people were like, oh my god, there's there's a legend of a chicken. One time, a girl saw a chicken, and she escaped prison the next day. Oh my god. And I was like, no, this is really dumb. And I thought it was stupid. And I almost dropped the series end because of this because I thought it was really freaking dumb. But after that, it's gotten pretty good. Um, I'm at the end of season one. I have two more episodes to watch. I'm watching with my girlfriend, but I'm watching it a bit differently than what we normally do when we watch a series. Normally, we'll just watch it all together. Um, but because we don't really see each other enough to, like, warrant watching an entire, or, like, an entire show together, like, if, when we do that, or when we've done that in the past, um, like, we watched, uh, we watched The Walking Dead and Lost together from, well, The Walking Dead start to be finished, which took months, and it, for us to get through season one of Lost, it took, like, two, three months, and I thought, hey, diamonds, that's a rare sight for me. And so we eventually, or she actually had the idea of us just like watching critical episodes together. Like, um, we'd watch a few episodes and be like, okay, let's watch up to episode five before we see each other again. And my only rule with that was, uh, we have to watch the see or the first episode of the season together and the last two of together. Like those are the those are the three that we have to watch together because that's normally when shit gets real. And also, I know some shows there's a lot of mid season drama as well but I, I didn't want to do that like you know um save all those episodes for us yeah prison or prison is new black <laughs> that's not even the first time i accidentally called it that orange is the new black is pretty great minus the stupid chicken episode i guess because i oh really there we go that's why you always dig around kids <laughs> um oh, i should have taken a screenshot of that are we gonna find another one probably no i don't think we're gonna get that lucky nah Okay, but yeah, it, minus that episode, it was pretty good. It is pretty good. Uh, I think I heard season two is a lot better too, so I'm looking forward to that. Whoa, frame rate drop there. But until then, I um, guess that's really it. Any other TV shows? <clears throat> There's always one TV show I have watched in the past that I always forget about. I don't remember what it is off the top of my head though. Eh. Oh well. There's a bunch of shows I do want to watch, though. Like, I do want to see the ending of Prison Break, although I'm only two seasons in. Two, two seasons in. Apparently, I'm told season two, it all goes to shit, though, so I'm kind of worried about that. I have a big list of... You know what? Let's just pull it up. Let's just pull it up. Notepad. Open. 
Uh, where is it? Is it in my documents? Dude, the creeper's totally gonna come behind me and blow me up. I can't even find my documents! Where is it? What the heck? What the heck? I see downloads. Okay, well, whatever. Anyways, screw that. That's taking way too long. Um, do you read reviews about a movie for deciding to watch it or not? Yep, I do, and I should really stop doing that because every time I do that, it ends in me going to a movie with low expectations and normally hating it. I didn't do that with Annabelle. That just came out, and I actually freaking love that movie. It was amazing. I couldn't believe how amazing it was. I was actually stressed out watching a horror movie, and every single horror movie I've seen in my life, I have just thought it was subpar. But this freaking Annabelle, it was freaking amazing. I was stressed out. For, you know, for considering I, I say I don't really stress out on movies, I'm talking about stressing out at like a whole bunch of media. <laughs> but no, Annabelle was amazing. It had like perfect amounts of, oh, it just it was really like psychological horror, and it was great. I loved it. It had a great feel to it. I didn't it didn't scare me, but it did give me like a sense of holy shit, what's about to happen here? And I did jump out a bunch of the scares, even though they were cheap jump scares. But I mean, it was actually really good. I really recommend it. if you're like a horror movie buff, go watch it. It was really good. Apparently, though, I did read reviews after it, and it's getting really terrible reviews. It's got, like, a 29% on Rotten Tomatoes. That's normally the first side to go to for reviews, by the way, Rotten Tomatoes, just because of how blunt they are with their reviews. Um, apparently, a lot of the stuff they did is pretty typical for a horror movie. I don't really watch too many horror movies, so maybe that's why I thought it was amazing and fresh and new. But if you're interested, if you do want to see horror movies, then I would I highly suggest Annabelle. It was really good. Um, minus that, like, I normally go read reviews and uh, go into a movie and think, oh, this is going to be terrible. I mean, I did that for Maze Runner. I thought that was a really good movie, too. Okay, I'm going to screw that coal. Screw it! Um, okay, we already went down there. I hope there's more of this cave than this. There was a ravine near the beginning of this cave, but I don't even know if we'll be able to find it. Um, yeah, so normally, yeah, I do normally read reviews before going to see a movie, but... It normally re or it doesn't ruin it for me, but I do go in with low expectations. But it does actually kind of help sometimes because it, um, I go in with low expectations and then like I end up being really impressed. So, yeah, don't always believe the movie review peoples. All right, next question: If you found one hundred dollars, what would you do? Probably keep it. Not gonna lie. Um, I have found I found a twenty dollar bill at work once when I was uh, when I was at my old job as a chicken chef. Here we're at the surface. How unfortunate. And I did keep it because, like, I was, I didn't know what to do with it. Oh, actually, I did find another $20 bill at my other work. And, like, I put it in my phone case because I'm like, hmm, what should I do with this? And I was debating asking people if they lost anything. I was going to tell them money because I didn't want them to go, yeah, I lost uh, a $5 bill. Ha, ha, ha. Because, you know, that would have been stupid to do. I know people would lie about it. Uh, but then one of the guys came up to work. He's like, hey, do you see any money laying around? I'm like, why? He's like, I lost my bus fare. I'm like, actually, I don't, I don't think he said bus fare. No, he drove a car. It wasn't bus fare. It was twenty dollars for something, though. And I, like, I immediately, like, without a second thought, I did give it back to him because, you know, well, I'm not gonna blatantly steal it. But I hadn't asked anyone yet, so I don't know if I was gonna keep that money or not. I did plan to ask around for it, but I hadn't done it yet. So I think this was that same ravine. So that looks really cool. I think this is that same ravine I saw before. Please tell me this leads to more caves. Oh, they were coming to the end of the episode here. You know what? That, that'll be a good screenshot. Yeah! <laughs> um, so, I guess my morality is kind of... I mean, it's not the worst in the world, but it, it's kind of bad sometimes. <laughs> Am I evil? I might be evil. I don't know if that was so creep over here. Hmm. Okay, this cave's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Lava, eh? All right, let's go down there if we can't find anything else to go down. All right, so, I mean, yeah, if I find $100, I might ask around, what is your morning routine? Well, on my days that I work, I set my alarm 45 minutes before I work. I eat, um, and then I just leave. I brush my teeth, I shower, I do all that the night before just so I get to sleep in for maximum hours. And, um... Yeah, that's pretty much really it. Like, I'd spend, I've only, like, from the moment my alarm sounds and the time I have to get out of the house, it's only, like, 20 minutes. Actually, I think it is 20 minutes, yeah. 
So I have to be out of, from the moment my alarm goes off until the moment that I need to get a house. There's, tw there's only a 20 minute time period between that. So I gotta really, you know, get up and immediately jump up and go eat. A lot of people like hit the snooze button. I've never been one of those people ever. Mostly I, I try to avoid doing it mostly just because I know if I do start doing it, I'll probably continue to do it. And I know it's really bad for your body to continually sleep like that. So, yeah. Um, on the days I have off, what I'll normally do lately is I'll wake up. I'll look on YouTube, I'll watch a few YouTube videos in bed, sometimes more than a few. Sometimes I'll just lay in bed for two, extra two hours watching just, you know, YouTube videos. And then I'll get up, go eat. As I, I normally eat peanut butter and jam first thing. Um, also, I add margarine to my peanut butter and jam. Is that weird? That's probably weird. Oh, great, we're at the surface. What is that? Oh, no, we're not. Okay, I thought that was the open sky, but it was just a rendering issue. Um, yeah, what I'll normally do is I'll... Uh, go eat my peanut butter and jam, and then like as I'm making it, I'll also have whoa. Don't don't what? Wow, she she just gave zero shits about me. What did she drop? Beats me. Um, did you, spider eyes maybe? What did you drop, woman? I have no idea what you dropped. Well, anyways, there's all my loot I have so far. Cool. It looks all cool, just being all like stone ores and stuffs. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'll continue to watch YouTube videos, and after I finish eating, I'll come downstairs and go on my computer and normally look into seeing if I need to record a video or want to record a video that day or not. Depending on that, that's what I'll normally do. I'll edit normally, watch more YouTube videos, <laughs> maybe go see my GF. That's really about it. I mean, I feel really busy all the time. But I guess that's probably because YouTube. <laughs> um, yeah, that's normally, that's normally my whole day routine, to be honest. Um, yeah, okay, next question. Oh, right, we'll have one more. What is your dream job? How very ironic we get that with this. YouTube! I would love to be a YouTuber for life. Not only just playing games because, well, that's really all I have time for. But if I was, like, a full-time YouTuber, I would love to vlog. That was what I initially wanted to do. What I, what my initial plan was, was to do a gaming channel when gaming channels weren't massive. And then maybe get a bunch of subscribers. And then maybe start a vlogging channel where I'd send all my subscribers to that channel. And three years later, I have a thousand, almost actually 1,100 subscribers. Now I'm four subscribers away from 1,100. Which, holy crap, that last hundred subscribers went by quick. But um, yeah, I would love to like vlog my life. I do actually want, if I'm doing YouTube in a few years still, which I definitely plan to, I do definitely want to do a um, uh, first year living by myself vlog for like a, yeah for like a full year. I think that'd be awesome. It'd be an awesome opossum. Um, from the, I want to start a yearly vlog from like the first day that I move out of my parents' house to like a year later, and maybe it'll just continue after that because that's what normal those vlogs are. It's like, guys, we've almost vlogged for an entire year, and how did I miss this gold? And then like they'll be like, they'll have this like a big announcement video, like it's a big surprise, like guys, I think I'm gonna continue vlogging for more years, yay, definite vlogging. And that's probably what would have to be honest, <laughs> but I probably wouldn't bullshit. But I would call it. I'd say it's a year just for a, to just to set it as a goal for myself. Because if I just call it, what the heck? Oh, that was weird. If I would just call it indefinite vlogging, then I'd probably just eventually quit it. But if I actually set it like a goal for myself, like a year of vlogging, and then decide what to do, then I mean that would be that that'd be probably better for me to do. Ooh, that's probably that could have been dangerous. Actually, right before this episode ends, because I am getting up there in time, I do want to say that, um, I don't think it's come up yet. Jeez, I'm finding this gold, but I'm not finding any diamonds. Of course not. Psh, that'd just be too great. In the UHC with Mo, I don't think this has come up yet, but I tell him constantly that, holy crap, look at this gold! I tell him constantly that gold and diamond are on the same level as each other, but that is not true at all. And I'm shocked at that. Maybe I was thinking of something else, like gold and... Lapis or something. I don't know. But yeah, anyways, I tell him that gold and diamond start on the exact same level of each, as each other. And if we see gold, that also means there's going to be diamonds at that level. But that's not true. Gold, I actually, I, gold spawns at level 30, I think. Actually, let's Google that right now. Gold or Minecraft, what level? Um... Oh, oh, from levels 2 to 29, gold spawns. Hmm, and yeah, and diamonds don't spawn until level 15. 
which I don't know if that's been changed or not, but I was pretty certain at some point that I heard diamonds and gold were on the same level as each other, which is weird. And so I, I, if you're watching this more, I apologize, because I he, he's like, are you sure, Chris? Because he sounded really doubtful. I was like, yeah, I'm 100% sure. And then, well, I'm wrong. <laughs> so I apologize, Mr. Mo. Uh, Mr. Slow Mo Johnson. Hmm. But anyways, I guess I'm going to call an episode here. Let me just get to the end of this here and see all the diamonds. With my elephant. Oh my good lord. I you hate it when this happens. Like, I should really stop caving, but look at all the things. There's too many things. What am I going to do with all these things? Okay, so actually, I'm just going to cut it here. I'm going to finish going around these branches of this cave. I think it's actually ending here in a second. I hope it is, because if not, then I'm going to want to continue to do this and... I don't want to die. I get too greedy when I do these caves, and then I'm just dying. I'm just dying a sheep brown. You see what I did there? Dying and dying. Yeah. Anyways. Okay, so I'll cut it to after I look at all these caves. Maybe when I'm at the surface. So, see you guys in a second. Hey, it's gold. Okay, I'm back. I've put all my ores in here. You still don't have anything in here. Are you ready to see what my grand toll was? An entire three diamond ore. And all this coal. Holy crap. Two, four, like five and a half stacks. Almost. Okay, five and a quarter stacks. Two and almost three stacks of iron ore. Three lapis lazuli blocks. Almost a stack of gold. That's pretty freaking great. 30 redstone ore and three diamond ore. Uh, I don't really care about the rest of this. Um, diamonds are really the only thing I care about. To be honest, <laughs> I like, like, as in getting fortune or fortuning them. What? Oh, great. Well, I doubled the amount of diamond I initially got, which is pretty great. Um, I am kind of starting to run. Well, yeah, but I was gonna say I'm running low on diamond, but no, I'm really not. Uh, here's what my loot chest actually looks like. I should probably start transferring it to like my ender chest that I apparently don't have in here. Have I shown this by the way? Have I shown the updated version of this? Oh, I guess I didn't because I remember throwing these chickens in there. I was going to ender pro, I just killed a random ender bit on my way back. Um, yeah, chickens. I just had a bunch of eggs and I didn't have any more them, so like, I just threw them in here for no real reason. I should hang them from the roof. Oh, that's a great idea. I'm going to do that. I do plan, I'm not done with this room. I'm going to put a bunch of glowstone floating around. I just haven't done that yet. Um, I added all the books. I have an anvil there. I'm also going to put a chest here below... Like, what I did with the anvil, I'm just going to have it hanging. What I did with the anvil, since anvil is full of gravity, I just put another uh, gray stained glass there. I'm also going to do that here, I guess. Hey, I got a baby chicken. <laughs> what? And then, you got to break that block so they don't come back up. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to make a ladder or something there because, yeah, it's not going to work out too well since I have people, including me, are going to fall off of this. Um, yeah, I'm actually kind of pleased with how this turned out. It looks kind of silly, but, you know, what I should have done is made the roof cool, like, at an angle as well, so it was more of a spherical room. Did I forget? Oh, I forgot to post, place some obsidian there. Well, then. But anyways, this episode's gone long on enough. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave likes for already. My name's Chris. In the next episode, well, I was going to throw Ender Pearl, but I don't really have any, any Ender Pearl, so I'm going to keep that. In the next episode, we'll probably continue to work on the arena. So until then, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.